there. You have a kind soul. Help an old man buy his next meal. Your soul also seems kind. I am grateful and humbled, stranger. Tell me, what do they call you? I'm Cassandra. And you? Just a simple beggar. I sailed from Persia to see the beauty of the Greek world. I can do many things, Persian, but I can't restore sight. Nor would I want you to. My blindness is a burden that the gods have given me to carry, and I will. Then what? Be my eyes. When I was a boy, an Athenian told me the most beautiful tales of your lands. I would love to hear them again. Would you go see the places I never was able to, and return to tell me the tale of your adventures? I'm not much of a storyteller, but I will be your eyes. I knew I sensed kindness in you. You've made this old Persian happy again. Don't thank me yet. What places do you wish you could have seen? Ah, my favorite tales were always of the Acrocorinth. The statues of Zeus and Athena, the perch of the armored bird in Arcadia, and of course, the mysterious Mount Taietos. You did say Mount Taietos, didn't you? You sound like you know that place. I have heard tales of its appetites. They say the mountain feeds on the suffering of Spartans, so the people there offer their own children to the mountain god for sacrifice. That's... that's not exactly right. I returned to Mount Taietos. Return? Tell me, did you meet the mountain god who devours Spartan children? The mountain is... Just a mountain, like any other. What makes Taietos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. When I was a child... I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. <laughs> Okay, I've told you what I remember. Now tell me about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians? No peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. A man tried to kill me with poison which is how I lost my sight. I fled and arrived here. I find it hard to believe anyone would want you dead. You're very kind. Tell me another tale, then I'll tell you more of my past. So, tell me what you know about the statue of Zeus. Its great bow stood ready to punish the Kefalonians below. Or so I was told. I've seen Kefalonia from the statue of Zeus. Tell me, is it still a place of great beauty? Yes, the island is beautiful. From the statue of Zeus, you can see the sea hitting the white beaches and mountains covered in green. But its people suffer because of the war. Ah, just how it was described to me. The gods simultaneously bless the land and curse the people. Even for gods, your gods are cruel, Miss Theos. <laughs> Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers. Unlike any Persia had known, he was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings? Hired to kill a simple blind man? Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale. And I will, too. There are many statues to Athena. Which one do you mean? In my mind, there is only one. Her story always began. As we rounded the hilltops, we could see Athens bustling below us, and Athena above, matching our gaze. You'll be glad to know. I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel her presence. Would you describe her to me? If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. 
She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes, not just standing tall to protect Athens, but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Now that's out of the way, you owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too. He was, by my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you. So I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible! That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now. I hide here, exiled, living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more, but first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. The Acrocorins, don't tell me, it's in Corinthia. Smart guess. It is the most renowned temple to Aphrodite, your goddess of all life's most pleasurable trivialities. I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Atere keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. <laughs> Now you tell me, King Artaxerxes, how can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> well, that's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general. I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. He came to Persia to me. Looking for refuge. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth, Mount Daegetos. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale. And I'll tell you why he hid his treasure. What do you remember about this armored bird in Arcadia? There's a beast made of armor jutting out from the mountainside overlooking Lake Stymphalos and the undulating fields stretching like waves on a golden sea all across Arcadia. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. Nothing would make me happier. It's a majestic statue, built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It is so high above Stymphalos and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. So it is as it was told to me. The bird commemorates Heraclius' fight against chaos, built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. <laughs> So, I've been to the five places that Mr. Cleis told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be eternally grateful. As for my tale, Themistocles died peacefully in Persia, as one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. And what of your story? I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me. So I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else you should know. Yes? My grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means... Your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. Then you're bound by blood to avenge him. Artaxerxes, false king! This Mystios led me right to you! Time to finish what I started. Stand behind me. Your head is mine! <laughs> 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 
Artaxerxes, are you hurt? Despite being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Thank you. I had no choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another. Then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. Are we that desperate? We're helping somebody move? What? The guy's got a lot of stuff. Work is work. And a few extra drachmi never hurt anybody. Sometimes, even the simplest things can be worthy of our attention. That is much more worthy of my attention, Barnabas. They're here to kill. Why attack this village? They're innocent. Watch out! More people near the Spartan camp need help. Persians? Eagle bearer. You? You are the eagle bearer? Go! The huntsman will be pleased when we bring him your head. You're welcome to try. You're smaller than the story <laughs> say, Igera. <laughs> uh, uh, you're done now. <laughs> I won't <laughs> die yet. <laughs> There's more people to the Spartan camp. I should head there. Who was that who saved me? I knew you'd come. The Spartans here are slaughtering everyone. We have to stop them. You saved us. Eagle Bearer. Call me Cassandra. My name's Natakas. They called me the Eagle Bearer. How do they know about me? I'm not sure, but they're certainly looking for something. A huntsman. Sounds like a name I should know. And if he's here, we're fucked. I need to take care of these people. That Order Elite passed through here, killing as he went. He left tracks nearby. I'll follow him. Thank you, Cassandra. For what? For helping. When nobody else would. They left none alive. I didn't deserve this. The bodies lead towards the river. Dead Spartans. 
and more up the river. I need to find out who did this. How do Persians know who I am? Game kills. These Persians didn't see it coming. Guards must be on the right path. The elite guard. Someone got to him before me. Someone skilled. Your father? The Eagle Bearer. We have to leave, Natakas. More soldiers are coming. Our hideout is below the Rock Arch. Find us there. It's not the first village they've hit. The Order's presence here is increasing. Even more reason to keep to the shadows. And let innocent lives be lost? Innocent lives were lost. You can't do everything yourself. We have to be careful, Natakas. You know that. Burning villages, Persians commanding Spartan soldiers, getting ambushed by an angry old man. I am not in a good mood. Answers, now. How did you find us? I told her. Any more secrets you want to share? You must know what's going on here. The Persians you saw commanding the Spartans... The Order of the Ancients. A powerful secret group who have controlled Persia across the reign of countless kings. Secret organization? Few of those going around. I asked you this before, when you were trying to kill me. Who are you? Darius. I need more than a name. She's earned it. There have always been people who lust for power and control. And there have always been people who oppose them. And which are you? Let me tell you a story of the great King Xerxes. It was many years ago, in Persia.
Yet for all their power, they couldn't protect you. Not from me. They've been after us ever since. You're telling me an old man in the middle of nowhere Macedonia killed the god king Xerxes? Oh, I'd like him. Believe what you want, Eagle Bearer. But the Order, they're here now. Burning down villages and killing innocent people. What are they looking for? Not us. We were safe here. The Order of the Ancients lost our scent long ago. No, the Huntsman is hunting you. You and your kind. The Tainted Ones. And now you have a choice to make. Fight them, or disappear. Father! Cassandra, what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same. I find doing something practical helps me get my thoughts together. You like hunting? I do. There's deer here usually. If you're anything like Darius, I bet you're good with a bow. I do all right. Modest. I was just about to start. Would you like to join me? I'd like that. It'd be nice. Let's see how good you really are. How many deer do you think you can get? Let's find out. The deer are usually around here. Nice shot. Darius is good in a fight. He must train a lot. Never misses a day. He doesn't know his age. Your father is a man of few words. And you caught him on a more talkative day. Another one. Shh. Did you hear that? What? What is it? Shh. Trust me. Look. A boar? In Macedonia? Almost unheard of. Delicious. It is. That makes everything better. You're an amazing cook, Natakas. Good enough for the gods. It's an old family recipe. My grandmother would be happy to hear. We should all indulge as gods when we can. Us? Gods? Speak for yourself. I'm already a god. There is something special about you. Everyone can see it, obviously. But no one, not even you, can fully tell what it is. With all that's happened in Macedonia, I guess you can't stay here. I don't know. We always run, ever since I was a child. My mother would find a way. No matter if we were by the side of the road or in a cave somewhere, she'd find a way to keep us warm, safe, like we had a home. I don't know if I'll ever feel that again. She's gone now? Years ago. Same with my siblings. The Order. The last time I saw them was the last time I saw my sister Nima alive. What about you? I never knew a true home either. I grew up fending for myself. Hoping there'd be a place out there where I'd feel, as you said, warm. I haven't found it. And anyway, I don't think it exists. We're shaped by our pasts, not defined by them.